Hi guys and welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. I did do a poll the other day asking you what you would want on the community post and you chose the sausage and bacon pie. So that's what we've got here. So I don't do the pastry in the video. It is exactly the same pastry in the same dish as the last pie that I did. So I've got 800 grams. This is Lincolnshire sausage but you can use plain pork of sausage meat. That's my pipe pan. And I've got 100 grams of small snipped um just regular unsmoked bacon so the pastry i will list it down below it's the same again as all the pastries that i use so i'm not going to put it in every video i'll just link below the recipe that i use it's pretty fail proof to be honest you can see to the side there i've got two thick pieces of bacon if um, your pieces of bacon are not as thick as that, don't worry. Just use three regular pieces of bacon and just cook them so they're cooked, not until they're super crispy. And just leave them to the side, they'll go on top of your pie. So I'm going to do the base. I picked the wrong area to do this because my oven is actually turned on. <laughs> so. I'm just going to pop it in. This is very forgiving, this dough. So just drop it in. And I'm just smushing it up the sides there to allow for any shrinkage. And I'm going to add baking beans to this. Because I want to blind bake it. And the parchment is just a piece of screwed up parchment but I have enough overhang to protect the pastry along the sides so they don't get all burnt. I use two pots of baking beans, about 800 grams I think, but you can use like pit dried pinto beans or even rice and then just store them in a container and just use them for that purpose. You don't have to buy baking beans since I've got I may use them like I say about the bacon about 100 grams 800 grams of I've got Lincolnshire sausage you can use just plain pork because we're adding seasons to it anyway so we've got onion powder and I'm using a teaspoon garlic powder I'd say that's three quarters of a teaspoon. We've got some sage and that's a half a teaspoon. <laughs> Watch. Ah, oh, it went everywhere, man. Everywhere. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? So two tablespoons of ketchup in your bowl and not all down the side of your cooker. So you get a really good mix. <laughs> I was so miffed. Miffed, I tell you. So mix that up really well. This is not a hard recipe to do. Probably one of the easiest pies to do. And it'll easily feed six. It's a nice deep pie. If you're looking for sort of a la carte menu or a la carte size portion sizes, this is not the channel for you. This is home cooking. This is feeding your family getting it done so it's all combined so now i've baked that for 20 minutes on gas five just taking the baking beans out remember these are hot so make sure that they don't go into a plastic container and you just want them to cool down and you can pop them back away wherever you keep them 
So this has got to go back in because the bottom part's not fully cooked. And it went back in for eight minutes. So that's done now. And I'm just going to slap my meat in. There's no delicate hands over here, guys. We just throw it in. And I found that the perfect amount of meat for this pie. And that's the two pieces. You can see they're thicker. I would have put three normally, but it turned out there was only them two left. I think because they were so thick. So just plop them on the top and I'm going to roll out my um, lid for this in a minute. I hate pastry, I hate making pastry, but this is super fast. So I don't mind doing this short crust one. And it's so tender as well, it's really, really, really nice. I do mine in a food processor because the least you touch your hands and the fats with worn hands, the better. So I'm just going to roll it out to the size that I need. Again, I'm not too clever because the oven is hot, but I get it done. So that's all that matters. So you can see that the bottom lot of pastry is not even over the pastry tin all over the pie tin sorry you'll see why that doesn't matter in a minute don't worry about splitting either because it'll just roll back together so pop on your lid press it down around the edges as you can see, that split that I had really didn't make any difference at all. Fold it over and press it. Great stuff. So now I'm going to trim off all the excess raw dough, plus the excess of the cooked as well, just to tidy it up. Told you it's simple. The home of simple cooking. I do advise that you don't cook this as soon as it comes out of the oven. Sausage and bacon obviously have fat within them and that needs to go back into the meat. Not even so much fat. These are really good quality sausages. So when I took the casings off and everything, there was not so much fat, it was juice. So you need to allow that to go back in. So I won't cut it straight away. And this pan is fantastic. I'll make sure it's linked below as well. Got it from Amazon. Put in your vent holes, guys. We don't want to steam that pastry. And egg wash it. I want a nice colour on that when it comes out. So I cook this on gas five for 40 minutes on the lower side of the oven, on the lower shelf. I don't mean on the floor of the oven, but just on a lower shelf. I've salted and peppered it. And it was as easy as that. Didn't take long at all. And there it is guys, the, the sides held up well as you can see, it didn't matter about the bottom layer of the pie. Nice crisp top on there. Lovely. We served it with air fryer mini roast. There you can see the bacon at the top, but you can see the bacon through as well. And you can see it's juicy. It is not a dry pie. And it's not a soggy bottom either. That's deceptive. That's the juices off the meat. It's not a soggy bottom. So there it is. With the bacon through it. And then that little piece at the top. Air fryer. 
crispy potatoes and mixed vegetables and that was a nice tea and we all had it kids really enjoyed it so thanks for watching guys uh friday will be a little haul so we'll bring the haul back this week and don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know if you're going to have a go at making it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye